This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, what you just heard there was a little piece of music I put together using the Phrygian mode. This is, after all, uh, Theory Wednesday, and we've been looking at modes for the past few weeks. And uh, as I say, that's a little bit of um, a little bit of stuff that I did using the Phrygian mode, which to me is is kind of the darkest and most um, minor sounding of of all of the minor modes. And here's a little bit of an explanation about what makes it tick. The Phrygian mode. An explanation. Okay then, the Phrygian or Phrygian or Phrygian or however you want to pronounce it. The Phrygian mode I'm going to say. Uh, what is it, how does it work and how do you use it? That's what we're dealing with here. Well, uh, if you've seen any of these videos before then you will know that basically any mode is simply a way of biasing a key or focusing a key towards one of the chords uh, in that key. So it helps to know what chords are in a key and I've been through this several times but um, in other videos but for uh, the benefit of people who've not seen this before uh, to find out what chords are in a key you simply do this little three chord trick like that the one four five chord trick basically and that tells you the three major chords in this case in the key of A because that's the chord we're starting on um, so we've got an A chord, a D chord, and an E chord. Each of those three major chords has a relative minor, and the way you find that is by moving down three frets from each of the chords, uh, one, two, three, like that, and going to a minor shape. So like that, that is an F sharp minor, which is the relative minor of A major. Likewise, the D major chord, move it down three frets, one, two, three, turn it into a minor. That's a B minor. E major chord, move it down three frets, one, two, three, turn it into a minor. You've got C sharp minor, so you've got three major chords, A, D and E. 
and three minor chords F sharp minor, B minor and C sharp minor. Arrange those in ascending order from A, you get A which is the one chord, B minor which is the two chord, C sharp minor which is the three chord, D major which is the four chord, E major the five chord and F sharp minor which is the six chord. There is a seven uh, chord as well that's based on the note one semitone below our tonic. There's the A, one semitone below that's a G sharp and that gives us a G sharp minor seven flat five chord but it's not relevant to what we're doing here so that's the last I'm going to mention of it. Um, so how do you turn that into in this case the Phrygian mode? Well what you do is you take the three chord which is the C sharp minor chord and you write a chord sequence using those chords that we've looked at there some or all of them uh, and you make sure it is all very much centered around and resolving to and feeling settled when you hit the C sharp minor chord and that's exactly what I did the chord sequence that I came up with goes C sharp minor to A major to A to, to sorry to E to D and then settles back on the C sharp minor. Then we go off to the F sharp minor and back to C sharp minor. Then the F sharp minor again. Then the descending little run the E to D to C sharp minor. And that gives us a chord sequence that sounds like this. And you can hear it settles beautifully on that C sharp minor and sounds resolved and settled there. So why isn't it in the key of C sharp minor? The answer is if we take a look at this little PDF that is uh, one of the Patreon resources for this lesson here. You can see down the left hand side of the page there I've listed all the keys, all of the major keys, right? So if we take a look at the key of E major. Um, reading across the key of E major, you can see we've got E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, and that D sharp diminished chord. Okay, the key of E major is the same thing as the key of C sharp minor. It's the relative minor, as you as we discovered earlier. Um, so why isn't this piece of music in that key then? Well, take a look. You will not find in the key of E major a D chord. So. The fact that we've got a D chord in the chord sequence tells us that it's not in the key of E major, or it's relative minor, C sharp minor. Let's go down to the bottom of the table there. You can see that we have the key of B major, which contains a C sharp minor as well. But again, we haven't got an A chord. We haven't got a D chord in there. So that's two of the chords that we use in the chord sequence that are missing. So it can't be in that key. The only key which contains all of the chords that we used in the sequence is, if you go up a couple of steps, the key of E, the key of A major, which, as you can see, contains A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, and a G sharp diminished, which is kind of the um, you know, that, that minor 7 flat 5 thing that I mentioned earlier. Um, so the key of A major is the only key which contains all of the chords in that chord sequence. And if you read up that column uh, that the C sharp minor is in, in the key of A, you will see that that puts us into the Phrygian mode. So that is what is going on with the Phrygian mode. Basically, you take a major key, and in this case, the key of A major... <laughs> and you focus all of your uh, attention on the C sharp minor chord and that is essentially what makes the Phrygian mode work. That's what it is and that's how um, you can use it to create a chord sequence. So now we know all about that, uh, go away and write a Phrygian mode chord sequence and um, have a bit of fun doing so. 
So there you go. That is what is going on with the Phrygian mode. And as I mentioned in that clip there, there is that little reference table. Let's have another look at it. There it is. Uh, that reference table, which is basically telling you uh, what chords are in uh, any given key and how that all relates to the modes and everything. Um, that and the uh, little video of me playing that piece of music that kicked off the video and that explanation video and some scale fingerings if you fancy having a go at playing some lead guitar using the Phrygian mode, which we're going to be doing a little bit of on Sunday, I might add. And um, yeah, the jam track to play over as well. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address. And as you can see, the link is in the description. It's only $3 a month or £2.50 in uh, UK pound sterling and you get access to all of these additional resources that go along with these little YouTube lessons that I do. Thank you so much to everybody who uh, supports me in that way or any of the other ways, all of which are linked downstairs in the description. It is truly amazing that you're helping me keep the lights on around here. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm truly grateful. And that is pretty much it for today, folks. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video, found it useful and informative and perhaps a little bit inspiring and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it usually at this point in the video i say don't forget the live stream friday 5 p.m uk time and uh well there isn't one this week because um me and a bunch of the lads who uh, usually turn up on the live stream we're all going for a big night out uh beer and curry will be consumed rest assured so we're having a week off from the live stream but we'll be back uh, stronger than ever uh, the following week so keep your eyes peeled for that one um, I'll tell you what let's round off the uh, video today with a little bit of a teaser for what the Phrygian mode sounds like in a lead guitar context you'll hear the full version of this solo on Sunday but now as I say here's a little bit of a teaser of it and with that I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay safe Bye for now.